right now taking a live look outside from Air Tracker 7. You can see those dark clouds out there. We've had tornado watches and warnings all throughout the afternoon. Chief Storm Station meteorologist Mike Nelson joining me now. You've been busy on air nonstop. <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot of good stuff going on this afternoon. Fortunately, only limited damage, probably some hail damage to a lot of flowers and gardens down mm -hmm. the southeast part of Aurora. My house included in that, I think. <laughs> hey, let me show you radar at the present time. What's going on? We currently have a fair amount of thunderstorm activity still continuing around the metro area and up along the I-25 corridor, but it's below severe levels. There are no warnings currently in effect, but inside that red box up into Nebraska, that is still the uh, tornado watch. DIA improving a little bit there to the north of us, still scattered lighter showers, and off to the east, these are some of the cells that moved up into Nebraska now that are still going to be pretty strong, but I'm more concerned about the stuff farther to the south because that's where there's more energy. You're starting to see some of those storms building now when you get out toward Burlington, and that's where we're going to see some of the next round of storms. Tornado watch in effect to the northeast corner of us. Winter weather out to the west. Look at the temperature differences. 37 at Leadville, 82 at Lamar. You can bet you get some weather when you have that kind of stuff going on. And so let me show you what's happening around the area. This is the, the thunderstorm activity. You zoom it out a little bit. It's a big storm. It goes all the way down to the south with moisture all the way into Southern California. They're glad to get it there. Quick tour of some of our cameras. Here's how it looks right now in Akron. Sky is starting to darken up a little bit. This is the view in Burlington, getting those building cumulus clouds. This is what it looks like currently at DIA. Skies look a little bit better for right now. We're not in too bad a shape in the metro area. Out in Fort Morgan, it's improved a little bit as well. But once we get the thunderstorms going a little bit farther to the east, you get out toward Holyoke, and you get out toward Lyman. Look, at they have some rain and storms in that area. And we're going to continue to see them building out in Sterling. So it's the Eastern Plains we'll keep a close watch on. Stay with us. We'll have all the details for you as the now continues.